So since the Mox's Heist DLC landed, we have seen new class mods added. Zane's changes the game in my opinion, especially for Zane mains out there. And with it we can create some amazing builds. Today I bring you this build I've been using for about a week now. It concentrates on dealing as much damage as possible while keeping a hold of those action skills, making DPS even more great. How's it going guys, my name is DPG and today I bring you another Borderlands 3 video. If you do enjoy it, leaving a like it really helps me out and subscribe if you want to see more. On screen now you can see my weekly giveaway along with last week's winner. To be in with a chance of winning this yourself, follow the instructions on screen now and good luck. Now before we get into this build people, I'm doing a new mini series of top 5 Vault Hunter builds. Builds can be based on many different ways of playing this game, i.e. damage, DPS, killing mobs, looting, built around a weapon, grenade, absolutely whatever. All Vault Hunters welcome. If you are interested in sharing yours with the world, message me on my Discord and link to within the video description and from there we will get the ball rolling. Okay so I've been a Zane main since the very start. Yes I do have all Vault Hunters maxed out, but because Zane was my first choice, I feel I owe it to him to stick by his side. To be honest it hasn't been easy due to the fact we are seeing so many monstrous builds with other Vault Hunters while us mains just sit back and wait our turn. Well within the Mox's Heist DLC, Zane received a new class mod which was added into the loot pool. It's called the Seeing Dead. It's obtainable from aboard the Handsome Jackpot. It's quite a popular item, I've seen it drop multiple times from enemies of all kinds. What this does is basically allow you to activate all selected kill skills within your skill tree build from simply just shooting at enemies. But it also applies a 25% buff to each kill skill you have selected. So what I've done is basically build around this fact concentrating on damage output and DPS. Now we understand it isn't perfect, I do indeed feel it could possibly get better and I know many weapons of choice ain't totally with it, I mean I haven't really based this around a certain select weapons due to the fact I'm always trying out new things for videos and so forth, but I do feel this would make do with a select weapon setup and make it even more monstrous. So getting into the build, starting with the Sentinel. I have 5 points applied to Violent Speed, 5 points applied to Violent Momentum, 1 point applied to Cool Hand, I have 1 Drawn Delivery selected, I have 5 points within Salvation, I also use the Follows Close, I also apply 1 point within Violent Violence and Plain Dirty. The other 2 points come from my class mod here. This can vary obviously due to the one you have and the variant you have. I then put 2 points into Good Misfortune. Using my Sentinel within Action Skill Slot 2, I use Bad Dose and Static Field here. So switching over to the Digiclone, so I have 5 points within Synchronicity, 3 points within Preimmunitas, 1 point within Borrowed Time, and I have 5 points in Donny Brock. I have Fractal Frags selected, I have 1 point in the Duct Tape Mod, I have Quick Breather selected, and 1 point in Pocket Full of Grenades. 3 points in Supersonic Man, 3 points in Trick of the Light, Boom Enhanced selected, and Double Barrel selected. Digiclone is selected here within Action Scale 1, here though I do mix up the augments as certain augments fit certain things I am doing here. So this build as you will see is based on damage, concentrating on aspects of his perks which here maximise damage and DPS. We see many grenades also coming into play via the Sentinel and the Digiclone, hence why I do use pocket full of grenades, but I do feel one point here is definitely enough to regen the amount of grenades that will be used. Plus the 25% buff applied from the class mod is perfectly fine. Borrowed time you can switch out for something else on this page but this point is needed here to be able to select that double barrel at the bottom. Now this build using good misfortune skill here makes it so you literally can have infinite action skills, basically just continues to keep using them. I have 2 points spent here but in actual fact 1 point works here too because also this kill skill requires you to kill to perk this skill but because we are using that scene dead class mod simply hitting enemies activates this. The more enemies there are to shoot, the longer this triggers mean the longer those action skills will last. And I ain't kidding people, you can make this last as long as you need with minimal effect. 
I can also confirm I've tried and tested this that both your Digiclone and Sentinel can trigger this class mod and the perks it offers applying all selected kill skills. They also contribute to the Good Misfortune perk too which is amazing. Now I won't sit here and state this is the best Zane build out there, as I myself believe that's false. I ain't one of these content creators for Borderlands 3 believes everything they say or do and boom to you guys is legit the best way of going about things and playing. I'm always learning like you guys and that's the beauty of this. If you can make this build even better, that would be amazing and I'd love to hear your input. But yes, this is the build I'm using and enjoying on Zane at the moment. Yes, it probably could do with a few tweaks, but at the moment it works perfectly fine on Mayhem 4, making Mayhem 4 as easy to play as Mayhem 3, even though I do prefer Mayhem 3, but that's just me. But this build is perfect for those Zane mains out there playing any of the Mayhem modes. The damage you will deal is absolutely incredible and you'll be able to keep that damage up and keep that damage going for as long as you want because this whole build is based around speed and the faster you move the more damage you deal and this rocking with the 25% plus you get with the seeing the class mod applied to each and every kill skill you have makes it even more potent so yeah guys this is the Zane build I've been using for probably a week probably a little over a week I mean I have been tweaking it since this class mod was introduced I've been messing around with certain kill skills to see what works best and it's kind of a build I worked on way 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 back when trying to maximize damage and DPS but just having the input of the class mod the seeing dead just makes this a whole lot better but yeah guys enjoy this if you are a man out there and looking for a damage build i'm pretty sure you will love it on screen now you can see what this is capable of with some clips showing you with and without this class mod applied and you'll see the damage difference is unbelievable all clips will be on mayhem 4 by the way but on that note, we have come to the end of the video, people. If you enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more Borderlands, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video or upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one. Here you go!